YouTube, what's going on guys? My name is Gray, and today I want to break down my top five best weapons to have in ranked takedown. Without further ado, let's get right into it. Firstly, I want to welcome you guys to the channel. If you guys are new, please hit subscribe, comment, like, and turn on the bell for notifications. You guys know the deal. With number five, going to be the carbine. I put the carbine here because it is the default weapon. And while it is the default weapon, it is a pretty okay to mediocre gun. Uh, the reason I say that is because you're going to hit for about 30 to 40, depending on if it's a headshot or a body shot. But it's ranked so low because it is the starting gun and the other team will also have it. Meaning you're not going to be at an advantage. It's just going to come down to who hits their shots and who doesn't. Um, it does pretty well. You're going you're gonna to kill within th three hits um, most of the time, unless you're just really unlucky. But the carbine is going to be my number five choice. And in number four, I have the assault rifle. And now I know what you're thinking. The assault rifle is like really eh, mediocre. But you're, if you're using it the right way, it really is a good gun. You have to use the AR like it's an SMG. And what I mean by that is you have to play insanely aggressive and run around these small maps and just you you can't ads you have to just kind of you kind of just have to spray with it to be honest because it doesn't hit for much but it hits similar to an smg it just has a slower fire rate so the more bullets you hit the quicker they're going to die obviously but i really do like using the ar as sort of an smg or like an aggressive style weapon instead of you know sitting back playing a portal angle so on and so forth coming in at number three we have the battle rifle i put the battle rifle at number three because while it is pretty okay when you're kind of spraying with it, it is a burst gun, so it's it's okay, but it's not better than most, okay? I like to use the battle rifle as an ADS. So if I'm holding an angle or if I'm holding, you know, a head glitch or something, I really like to ADS and catch enemies off guard because with those three hits, if you can hit all three, they're going to be one shot. They're going to be fairly weak. So having the battle rifle as my number three makes the most sense because it does what the AR can't, and that's ADS. And have a good damage count when using ads coming in at number two we have the sniper usually you guys would think it'd be at number one but this time i'm gonna go against the curve the sniper is my number two selection because it's not a one hit unless you hit the head and if you're playing aggressive and takedown you're probably not going to hit the head unless you're just kind of cracked but the sniper rifle is still a good weapon this weapon can hit for 65 to the body and it will instant kill to the head the reason it's number two instead of number one is because of that simple fact that it only hits for 65 to the body. And it's a, it's a single bolt action rifle, so you're going to have to have a gun to switch to. And that brings me to my number one spot, which is the SMG. And I know a lot of people are going to disagree with me, and, you know, that's totally fine. I'm open to conversation. I'd love to have a discussion about it. But I have the SMG as number one in ranked takedown. I have it as number one because the thing absolutely shreds. If you can hit your shots... And if you can get close enough, playing aggressive, you know, and uh, trying to get around angles and just getting up in everybody's face with the SMG, you're going to win 90% of the gunfights that you go into. I really like putting the sniper and the SMG together because you can hit for body with 65 on the sniper, and then you can switch over to the SMG and kill them in no time. Guys, let me know what your thoughts are on my top five, and I want to know your top five down in the comments below. If you did enjoy the video, please click like, comment, and subscribe, and please turn on the bell for notifications. We are welcoming anybody and everyone into the channel. Thank you so much for watching, and we will see you guys in the next one.